that is a weird combo. Next guy up, Michael Wiley. Last Arizona. Guy. Last guy up for this show, Michael Wiley, Arizona, running back, five foot ten and a half, two hundred ten pounds, nine and a quarter inch hands, thirty inch arms, seventy four and one eighth inch wingspan. I do not know how old he is. So if anyone, he's a fifth year senior, so he's old. I know, I know that, but <laughs> I, I he, but he, I just don't know how old he qualifies for Medicaid. He's probably, probably twenty three. We'll just, we'll, he's twenty three ish. Sure There's yeah. fifth year senior. He's for sure twenty three, possibly twenty four. Could be flirting with 25 in that automobile discount and insurance. Could be Ray Davison. Anyway. Calm <laughs> down over there, hater. <laughs> 4.51 in the 40-yard dash. He had a, a 1.54 10-yard split. He had 4.43 20-yard shuttle, 119-inch broad jump, and a 33.5-inch vertical last year at Arizona in 10 games. He had 70 attempts, 311 yards rushing. Yes, you heard that right. Three touchdowns, 28 receptions, 306 yards receiving, and an additional five touchdowns. So, Michael Wiley, fifth-year guy, he got injured partway through his senior year. He played the first three games, uh, got injured, and missed three, four games in there, and then kind of became a little bit of a timeshare after that. And he's a little bit different than a lot of the other prospects that we've talked about so far. And there's some some things I really like about him, and there's some things that I don't like about him. Please tell me the things you like. Uh, things that I like, I think he's a very decisive runner. Okay. I think he is, has really good contact balance with a nose for the end zone. Like, he, he can find it. A lot uh, of touchdowns. Is his is dad former Ohio State? Uh, former Ohio State Buckeye, yep. yep. Running back uh, the, the 1998 Ohio State Buckeyes. And if you watch him, every time he's brought down, he – punishes whoever brings him down like he plays a very very physical brand of football and I think he's a fantastic pass catcher uh, so I think there's a lot of things that could translate to potential goal line work to potential receiving work which are some of the most valuable touches in fantasy football the problem for for me with him is he doesn't have the juice he doesn't have the burst he doesn't have those things that we typically look for so that's why he's an odd evaluation because while he doesn't have some of those things, he does other things very well. So for me, he kind of reminds me of current, not like coming out of college, but current Samaj P. Ryan, a guy that is not going to break long plays, but is a smart physical runner that can catch the ball really well. I mean, I, based off the limited stuff I've seen, I, I mean, I like that comp. I, I think that does make sense because he does catch the ball supernaturally. I, mm -hmm. think, he's, I think he's really good with the ball in his hands in the open field. I don't know that he... Really naturally or supernaturally? Super duper naturally. <laughs> Boom. Like like an alien? Yes. <laughs> that's supernatural. Supernatural. Kind of. No, it's not that's natural. It's alien. Supernatural is I like super, I Casper think the Friendly Ghost, right? I think you. it depends on how broad you think that term is. Supernatural is anything that's not, not natural. natural. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess aliens would be natural. Maybe. If they existed. Unless they were. All right. Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> where was I? I don't know. <laughs> supernatural, supernatural He's pass catcher, supernatural pass catcher. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think he has the high end speed. Um, mm -hmm. He's and, not getting drafted. Of, I, have, I have a hard time uh, believing I, that he'll get drafted. I think he will. Do you? I think yeah. he's a guy that can make a team. Another one. Drafted I think or not drafted. I think got him as undrafted. Second too. bet. I think he's a guy that can make a team because he could do some stuff on special teams and contribute that way and kind of earn a roster spot. That's the, and and if he did eventually get on a team, I think he could get a role in the pass catching role. That would, that would be his kind of avenue towards any sort of fantasy relevance. But at the ripe old age of maybe 23, possibly 24, maybe, Ray maybe Davis. even 25, what kind of opportunity is he really going to have? Well, the fact that his dad played Ohio State, um, it, he falls in that category of, like, not getting enough of that DNA. Like, he's just not, like, he's <laughs> – He's I've just, never heard of this category. I'm neither have I. This is a brand new category. <laughs> category He's, of not getting that DNA. <laughs> not enough. Not enough. Too much RNA. Um, <laughs> Too much RNA. So for me, it's just, I mean, Who I knew. Not enough TNA. <laughs> I just don't think like, I don't think like he's a bad running back. Like God fault bless. to him. I just don't think he's like athletic enough to be a good running back. This is the best way to put it for him. Cause like, like the things that you liked about him, like I'm fine with that. Like I, mm -hmm. he does catch the football well, but like he doesn't. His, like his vision's not there for me. He runs I a little. His vision. He runs a little too upright for me, and it's just his overall play speed and athleticism as a whole just really does it's not hard. work for me. He, he, 
He doesn't change direction too well for me. Like I said, his momentum's just, I just, when I look at him, like I don't see, I don't even see an NFL running back, let alone a, an opportunity to have a fancy dynasty, fancy football running back for me. So um, for me, Michael Wiley running back out of Arizona is off my board. Like he's just, oh. he's just not. And, and today's in an NFL age where it's like, it's so hard to get on the field. You know, mm-hmm. like, when you have guys that like we like their film, a guy like you mentioned all the time, like you're, we mentioned earlier, like a guy like DJ Dallas, right? Like, or on the same team, we're, we'll stick it out and say because he went to Arizona, like DJ Dallas, or even like a Michael Carter who we liked his tape for, and they came and snip, 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 snap, snip. easy, buddy. I'm not talking about your testicles, Jared. Um, <laughs> if we can't. <laughs> If we, they can't even get on the field. <laughs> we can't guy, snip his field. Then <laughs> we can't snip. Then the, what else? Can if he we can't do? snip the field, he can't bear children out there either. So true, for man. me, true. Michael Wiley is snipped <laughs> off my board, and he will not bear fruit onto my dynasty team. No more DNA is getting passed That's along. Right. Right. <laughs> He's in that category. Michael, why me? <laughs> yeah, Michael. I told Jared about talking earlier. I was like, "What is that when you do like the syllable thing?" Yeah, like, he's like, "Yeah, sil- we're like syllables." I was like, "So do his last name." He's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Stop." <laughs> <laughs> Why I watch the film? <laughs> Why? Out of all the out of all the running backs I watched, uh-huh. all of them so far, out of all twelve we're gonna cover today and tomorrow, he was the one I came away with the least. Like this guy has no chance to like be dynasty relevant whatsoever. I I have. I have a guy or two lower. Okay. I'm, I, I, he's a 59 for me, Garrett. Holy crap. You I mean, look, he can't, he's a one-way pleaser. He can't even get to this, the other side. Nope. Ten more points, he's a two-way pleaser. Nope. Yeah. It's just so selfish. If you think I need to go watch more <laughs> tape, I will. Oh, but you I, don't. Oh, you don't. It was don't. just like a lot of the games I watched, it was... Look, you're, you're he either... He didn't get a ton of reps. Look, either. he's either going to be a, a solid NFL player that catches a good amount of passes... Or not, because that that's gonna that's the role. So yeah. if you think that he's good enough to do that at the NFL level, which I do, I think that there's a role. If you don't think that his receiving work is going to be good enough to make it at the NFL level, then you're not gonna like him. So I think he's a fine receiver. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's why I think because he does one thing specifically really, really well, Let's that see. there are teams that are looking for guys like that, especially guys with his build that could turn into very good pass protectors as well. He was a good pass protector. So that's the thing. Like if you're telling me a guy that he can, he can protect and he's got the build to get even better and he can catch passes. I think that there's a role for him. I really have Todd Gurley. I feel like we've seen so many running backs that we thought that about though. That just, it never ends up applying. Yeah. When they go Kyron the Williams. Kyron Williams was one of the best pass block. Like that was but what he, he had did. A lot well. more going. Like Kyron Williams was a good prospect. Depending on who you ask, he was for us, way down for you and I. For you and I, for, yeah. But yeah, for good. most people, they they didn't. These guys didn't like Kyron. I'd rather have Trey Lance than I'd Kyron Williams. Have, I'd rather have Turd Russ Wilson <laughs> than Kyron Williams. No, no, then. he's talking about this guy. Oh, oh, Michael Wyme. 